Monkeys, it's Alexa, and I'm continuing with part two of the Conry Method decluttering photos and mementos. So what I've done is taken a dusty old bulletin board and turned it into a beautiful inspiration board, sort of Oprah Winfrey style. It's quite dusty, so I'm going to take the bulletin board outside. This, these are things that I definitely know I don't want. These are maybes. Uh, this is a pile of conference badges. A maybe sticker. And, um... Here are, there's a variety of things, some correspondence, um, some poems, and then I found some great little quotes here, which I thought I would just share with you because they're all very inspiring. I was reminded of the bumper sticker on my dad's rusty old truck. The best things in life aren't things. So that's a good one. Here's another good one. Taking a chance at something new in the near future will pay off. Here's another one. Beauty surrounds you because you create it. And there's another positive one. All the effort you are making will ultimately pay off. Well, yay! Isn't that we want what we want to hear? Okay, so I've saved these. Thank you for your contributions to my life. Of course, they were hidden away on the bulletin board, so it's not like I was reading them. Can't saw with a selfie stick. Dangerous. Take it out, it fits perfectly. And now the question is which one to cover it with. One side. <laughs> That's that close. <laughs> okay, all right. Here comes the other side. Watch out, world. Side number two. See, I'm trying to trap the fabric in there. You have to trap the fabric because otherwise it wants to escape. Uh huh. down from the wall because I realized that the fabric was not sitting nice and snug so what I'm doing right now is using my staple gun by the way I like this uh, little easy shot staple gun it was 10 bucks give it a quick ironing so that it can be wrinkle free this is the inspiration board it sort of has four quadrants or maybe three on the top on the left those are my finisher medals for various races i've done and my race numbers um, although they're not all of the race numbers i decluttered a few
on the right there, that's pure inspiration. And you know, you got some text there, summer of speed. That's, these are some exercises that I've been meaning to do. So, um, you know, why not cut them out and have them right there? And the other thing that I think is cool about this inspiration board idea is um, your mind is absorbing images in, uh, you know, a totally different way from words. And so, you know, putting new images up that um, speak to whatever you're aiming for, you know, it's reaching your mind in a different way and in a faster way than ver verbal things. So that's kind of cool. So I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of that, sort of hack your brain as the idea. There's a few, that's um, just some design inspiration, more design inspiration right there. There's a, I like those color combos. Those are from Architectural Digest or something. And then I had gotten in the mail a uh, National Geographic Expeditions magazine. I went through the magazine. I clipped out places I like to go. On this bottom left is musical, and I want to add more to this. Um, the train, re your brain, refers to some new types of practice methods I'm using. The visualized recording, that's kind of fun actually. I had found when I was decluttering files, I found a bumper sticker from a defunct music studio where I recorded my first album. The studio has since gone out of business like many music studios. And so I had that and it's like the top of the bumper sticker which says visualized recording is cool but then the bottom it's kind of depressing because it's this defunct music studio and I don't know if you're like me but it's like giving yourself permission to cut something out and all of a sudden I realized that's the words I want, visualize recording, and I don't need the other part, you know, and I don't need to stick it on my car because it was a bumper sticker. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. I cut that out and that's the message that I want, visualize recording. These are some women musicians playing uh, guitars, but, you know, for lack of something better. And then that's also a weird little instrument that apparently is easy to play like a guitar. It's an expensive instrument, $2,000 instrument, but um, it's called a harpeggi. And so, yeah, I put faster there. I don't know, I'm thinking soloing faster, I don't know. And um, that is something that I found when I was in the basement, that accompaniment thing. Um, it's a, it, you can change keys with it. So it's just pretty, it's old fashioned, and actually it also sort of serendipitously relates to something that I'm working on right now. Over here what I did is I took another piece of this bulletin board, which I cut down, and going through photos just now I found some old contact sheets. Um, these are old promo shots of yours truly. So I hope that was inspiring to you, and this is, like I said, the beginning of what will be a long process. I have a lot of photo albums that I've been collecting and loose photos, plus many photos in frames throughout the house. Um, and so this process and some remaining letters and mementos, diaries, things like that in the basement. So this is by no means an easy process. That's why Marie Kondo leaves it for the last. But certainly going through photos, finding new ways to show them, I think that's a beautiful way to refresh our daily interaction with, with our past. Also, I just came across um, a quote by a YouTube guru and I really liked it. He talked about how you know, the first half of our lives were figuring out who we are and then the second half of our lives were kind of burning off everything that isn't who we are and sort of refining our essential self. So that reminded me of this whole decluttering process. So let me know what you are doing in the way of decluttering mementos. And if you found any great ways to deal with it, it's not an easy process. So we all need to hang in there for each other. Like I said, YouTube is really helping me stay motivated. Your support really helps me. It's pretty inspiring to do these videos and try to come up with something to reveal to you that you'll be, uh, you know, psyched to see. So that's really fun. And I'm also, you know, trying to stick with it and go through the whole process. So it's definitely taken me six months. Um, one other tidbit to be aware of is, you know, you got to get rid of stuff because you don't want um, I mean, maybe you can let it sit for a little, you know, week or two or even a month, but you don't want to end up back in the situation of boxes of stuff that 
you went through once, then you shelved for five years, you know. So that's the danger zone there. You got to get it back out of the house or apartment or whatever. So courage and let's keep on keeping on. Bye. Back on this board. I think what I'm going to do is cut this board down and make it into an inspiration board. So I've been on Pinterest getting ideas and I'm going to cut it down and make it fit in the top panel of that closet door. Okay, so I'll turn it off. I'm not. I, 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 I